All right, guys. Figured I'd do something y'all don't never see me do too often. A little something y'all don't know. I do know how to cook. Today we're going to be making shit on the shingle. For any of y'all true country folk or any of y'all uh, military men, y'all know what this is. We're going to be using ground beef. There's our ground beef there. You can use beef tips and you can use sausage or any kind of meat you want. You just got to have some meat. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to brown your meat. You guys like how fast I brown that? That's this new 2 million uh, BDU stove right here. I'm going to brown your meat up real quick. I'm just messing with you. I sped up the process a little bit. End up seeing some watch your paint dry. And you can use deer meat for this. Like I said, beef. Any kind of meat. Beef tips. Whatever you want to use, you know. You just want to brown your meat up. And the next step you're going to do, now that we've about got our uh, meat all browned, is you're going to take and uh, drain it. Get all that excess grease. See all that grease in there? We're using deer meat. They wouldn't have that problem. But since we're using beef, we gotta drain the grease out because we don't like all that extra fatty, 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 fatty. All right, next thing you want to do, since we got our uh, meat all browned up, you want to turn your heat down, put it on about mid heat. You know the next step we don't want to do this too quick. You know what I'm saying? She's so gonna get you a pot. put you some butter in there. It never fails. Every time I try to do something, the phone rings. That's a text message. I'll get back to them later. But you just want to put you some butter in there. We don't want that to be too hot too quick. Just put you some butter in there. You know. Don't worry, I washed my hands before I uh, started cooking. But you want to put you some butter in the in the pot. And you want to get you some flour. You need you a fourth of a tablespoon of flour. And and two cups of milk. You're going to pour you in two cups of milk. And you're just going to stir that. You don't want to do this too fast. If you do this too fast, you'll mess it up. You just want to stir that over medium heat. I don't know if y'all can see that too good. You just stir that over medium heat, you know, get your butter all melted. And what it'll do is this'll thicken up. You know, it's kinda it's kinda watery right now. Let me move this where you can see. It's kinda watery. This'll actually get thick, real thick like soup. Once it thickens up, you just take and add you another cup of milk. And once it thickens up one time, it won't thicken up again. So you want to keep you want to keep this moving, you know, real slow. You don't want it to stick to the bottom too early. So Like I said, you just wanna you just wanna kind of keep it from getting you know too burning. You don't want to burn it, so you just over medium heat. You might want to bump it up just a little bit to speed up the process, but you don't want to do it too fast. That's the main thing. It's kind of gonna come out like a sawmill gravy, white gravy. 
it'll be that consistency when we're done. All right, it's starting to thicken up just a little bit. You know, not a whole lot, but once it gets, you know, you'll be able to tell that it'll get thick, kind of like gravy, real thick gravy. And that's when you'll add in another cup of milk. And like I said, once it gets thick one time, it won't ever get thick again. All right, she's really starting to thicken up now. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's really kind of thickening up to a, more of a gravy consistency. That's what you want. You want it to thicken up. It's kind of like it would kind of get like mashed potatoes. And once it gets to that point, you just want to add you another cup of milk. Like I said, once it thickens up and you add the milk to it, it won't thicken up again. See how thick it is? It's kind of like, like mashed potatoes. Creamy potatoes. And once it thickens up, you just throw over in your other cup of milk. Stir it all up. And <clears throat> you put in your a dash of Worcestershire. Try not to drop the little paper top of the Worcestershire into your food that's not good but anyways this is for for purposes anyways you just put you in a little dash of Worcestershire sauce just for flavor and I like to put in a little salt and pepper you know just to taste a few other little ingredients you know whatever you want I like to always put in a little onion powder garlic powder can't go wrong Give it a little flavor. And you just mix that all up. I'm going to turn your heat down. So that's starting to look like almost like Hardy's gravy. I don't know if some of y'all people from up north don't even know what Hardy's is. But. It's kind of going to be like Hardy's gravy. If you put sausage in it or deer tenderloin, it'd be just like Hardy's gravy. It's really, really, really good. We got our meat. It's been draining. Got all that, see all that grease? You don't want that in there. Artery clogging goodness, but. You just put your meat over in there. And mix her up. I guess that's why they call it shit on a shingle, because it. Pretty much looks like shit. It tastes great, but it looks like crap. And just mix all that up, and you serve this over toast. And it's really, 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 really good. My kids love it. You know, you can make anything with a little bit of milk, flour, eggs, butter, anything you got like that, and a little bit of know-how. A little bit of country ingenuity. You can cook anything. But anyways, this will thicken up a little bit as it cools. You know, turn the heat off because it's done. It's you know it's ready to eat now. If you want to, we'll make us some toast and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Now here's the last ingredient: toast. For any of y'all true military grunts I'm sure y'all know what this is and have probably ate it before you know hot chow was always welcome over MREs any day and that's what it looks like when it's ready that's, that's why they call it shit on the shingle y'all tell me what y'all think of that right there <laughs>